back to Friends Around the Tap. Again, today we're doing something different. We're uh, doing interviews, giving you a little background into who we are. Uh, the spotlight today is on Charney. Uh But I didn't do my intro. Today I'm here with Barry. How you doing? And Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, we're going to talk about how she got into drinky events. Oh, I'll start it off. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, Let's do it. Drinky events. Where'd the name come from? I love the name <laughs> personally. <laughs> you know that the name just kind of came out of the blue? Okay. I mean, it really was like, we're doing events, we're drinking, not necessarily all the time, we're drinking like, you know, beer or wine or, you know, because you have dry soda. So, so I, I thought drinking, drinky, it sounds cute, sounds fun, you know, so pretty much drinky events. Drinky events. I love it. I love it. And the concept of drinking events, where where that originate from? Well, the concept originated from Pipetown Traders, honestly, because Pipetown Traders can't do tastings. Okay. And so, you know, Ashton and I were talking and we were like, how can we figure out a way to do tastings for Pipetown Traders? And that's pretty much how we came up with drinky events, um, because most of the products that we've used for our tastings are from Ashton's store oh. and so you know when people are finished with the tastings they can go pop down to the store and you know buy something get a discount the day of the tasting <laughs> you can pop down there you know get yourself a beverage take home with you share with the people that didn't come to the tasting and then you can all sit around talk about the tasting the fun you had and then you know of course bring people back to the store bring people back to the tastings now, one other thing too, she didn't do this as random stranger. Mm -hmm. I do know Charnine <laughs> <laughs> as random stranger that went, hey, you can't hey. do tasting. Hey. Why don't I do something? Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Charnine and I had a relationship before. We were hanging out, friends. I met her through my wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hung out, party, <laughs> and right. bought it some more. And bought it right. some more. And she was she was solidly supportive in my ventures. She used to come down to my cell phone shop and hang out with us on Saturdays, wow. and we would oh chill. God. She would pop. I'd be through. down there for hours, like crazy. I would be down there forever. So you know, so she she's a a long a way back friend. Who, who figured this out and, and, and came up with this idea and was very helpful in, in trying to get some of our products out as a tasting uh, to to the public. I mean, that's a, that's a, I mean, seriously, that's a huge jump. Now, I know, but why don't you tell our, our viewers how is it that this wasn't a huge jump for you? What was your background where this was like a nice transition for you? My background, I've been doing meeting planning, events planning for like a million years. So, you know, it just seems... Like something that's easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, to some people it may be, some people it may not be. But for me, it comes easy because you know this is what I love. I mean, and you know, I'm trying to remember what my sister called me. I think she called me a spirits enthusiast. Nice. <laughs> Which was a, I, I was like, like is that. that a nice way of saying drunk? <laughs> I am. Not <laughs> but you know. Hashtag. Right. right. <laughs> that's our that's our new T-shirt. Spirits <laughs> enthusiast. Right. So, um, you know, so for my love of beverage, you know, of spirits, Beverages. yeah, because mm -hmm. it's not just, you know, it's not just spirits, it's beer, wine, you know, like tequila, you know, rum and tiburon rum, food, bourbon. I mean, you're bourbon. a foodie, yeah. at, at the end of the day, you're a foodie, you like yeah. craft items, you like finding out who made it and how it was made and, you know, just introducing yourself right. to new stuff and introducing your friends to new right. stuff. Right. I like, I like going to tastings myself and, you know, seeing what other people are doing out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then taking a little bit of that knowledge and bringing it back to drinky events. So. Works out great. Yeah. Gotta love that. It's been really fun. So what's uh, been your favorite event so far? Oh, my favorite. Ooh. You know, I feel like we've done like three million of these, but I think we've only done like... <laughs> Six or seven? Seven, maybe. Right. Maybe, yeah. um, I would say, like, the dessert pairing was probably my favorite. It was a lot of that work. That was a lot of work for you. It was a lot of work. But I'm pointing to you because you did a yeah. lot of work. <laughs> it was a lot of that. work. I'm not going to lie. Food service. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Got my hand that on uh, with a cigarette. The gloves. <laughs> right, right. But it was, it was really fun. It was a lot of work. And then people really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, I got the desserts from, you know, shout out to Sugar Jewels. Boop. 
Mm -hmm. um, so that was really cool. But you know, I enjoyed it because everybody else seemed like they were having a really great time. You know, excellent. Yeah. And and with that, the desserts and the pairings. What what did you? What were we showcasing that day? I don't really remember. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. I really honestly. <laughs> I feel like was I can't even remember. Like we did so much stuff. Like we always do beer. so much stuff. It was beer. Was it cider? Um, I don't know. It was a lot. It was a combination. We always see. that's the funny part. <laughs> yeah. When we start planning a drinky event, you know, all three of us get together, you know, because like I said, we use, you know, Ashton's products and you know, and then Barry and I were like, okay, now what should we do? Should we do uh, you know, like three drinks should we do you know maybe like a beer and a cider yeah two is great but wait a minute we should add something else uh okay two beers two ciders that's it two beers <laughs> two ciders that's it and then the next thing you know we're like wait two beers no that doesn't seem like enough barry's gonna make a cocktail two beers two ciders barry makes a cocktail with one of the with one of the products and the next thing you know we're working you know, twice as hard because now we've added Barry making cocktails for like 20, 30 people. But it's fun. But it's fun and people mm -hmm. really enjoy when you make the cocktail with them and you sit there and you walk them through the process and they get to make the cocktail themselves at their table. You have all the tools that they need. You know, you use the stuff at home, you know, well, you bring in stuff that people could use at mm -hmm. home, which makes it really fun for people. Mm -hmm. And I know people really enjoy, you know, I think it was the last one you did was apples in a glass. Apples in a glass. Yep. Yep. Yeah, people really, yeah, people yeah, really my, enjoyed my that. My wife really enjoyed that. <laughs> 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 I think, well, she enjoyed, with apples in a glass was the second one. The first one was so good because she was there. Mm -hmm. So when she heard about apples in a glass, she was at work and was like, you need to save me some apples in a glass <laughs> right. so I can get some. So, yeah, she was ready. Wow. I, I mean, I have to admit, I mean, it's been fun. And for me to actually participate that way has been fun. I, what's the challenges? You know, I like as a meeting planner, as drinky events, and coming up with different ideas since you can't do tastings at the store, and yeah, we work with the Hill Center mm -hmm. where we're doing where you're doing the tastings. Mm -hmm. What's some of the challenges that come that comes with that? I would think, um, you know, just really kind of coming up with the concept, you know, like what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. That pretty much to me is the most challenging thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then just getting it out there to people so people understand exactly what it is that we do. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we not only bring you, like our motto is fun, educational, good times. So we not only bring you, hey, here's some beer, we're pouring it in your glass, hey, try this. You know, we bring in somebody that's an expert in their field, you know, whether we use Mike or we use- um, Mike. Mike, Mike, oh, Mike is one of our, um, he's a Cicerone. He works at uh, DC uh, Brow, Brow on mm -hmm. the weekends. Um, he just does a lot of stuff around the city and actually out of town as well. But you know, we use him to teach some of the classes and he has a PowerPoint presentation. So it's not like you're coming in there and you're just saying, hey, here's beer, drink it. That's great. You know, he puts a lot of time into what it is he's you know going to bring you in that PowerPoint. And you know, and not only that, you get a handout, you get a printout of what the drink is like the apples in the glass we had a print mm -hmm. out of that and um you There's know a young lady that does our wine yes for yeah mm -hmm. Sarita, Sarita. yes mm -hmm. so we have her and she comes in does the same thing powerpoint presentation gives you the breakdown of the wines the characteristics of the wine she's able to answer questions for you she's also wine certified so you know we bring in people that know what they're doing you know and it's interactive and it definitely is interactive it's a lot of laughs like i said fun educational good times mm -hmm. it's a lot of laughter you know, um, and people really do have a good time and they come back to our events like every, you know, every time. <laughs> we do have our regulars. Yeah, we have, yeah, our, regulars. We have our regulars. regulars. Shout out to our girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. But I they, think they appreciate what we're trying to do. They yeah. understand that we're trying yes. to give them, um, I, I'm trying to craft beverages that will be interesting and you're setting up a situation you and Barry are setting up an environment where they can learn about them and right. try them. Right. So it really works out really well doing that. Yeah. And a couple other retailers have actually reached out to you as well as far as doing events, correct? Yeah, I think we'll we'll work with some, you know, some people later down the line once okay. we, you know, I feel like I want us to showcase Pipe Town a little bit more, okay. you know, and then we'll have some people come in. Um, you know, maybe they want to pour their stuff and they can, you know, come and talk about their, their items, but we'll still have the PowerPoint presentations and give you your educational component 
as well mm -hmm. because you know that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And, and so. granted, granted, Pipe Town has the best beer in town inside of <laughs> I mean, it. I'm just saying. I will say, but love, love, you know, love. we have we have <laughs> we have you know, commercial, uh, commercial. drinking events has had some other stuff that's not you know quite up to yeah. par, but yeah. it's worked for the event. Yes. So <laughs> it's not exclusively our three thousand beers or anything like that. But you know, there there are a few other you know lackluster beers to kind of highlight us that <laughs> okay. have brought into play. Okay. <laughs> no shade, no right, shade. Right. <laughs> None whatsoever. But, yeah. but I mean, yeah, I think so. Like another challenge is just us getting the word out there. Mm -hmm. You know, we're you know, like I said, we've only done like six or seven of these things, and so we're just you know, we need we need people to come um, to the events to you know use the hashtags and just put us out there more on social media, and um, and I think once people get to know who we are, they'll be like, oh my god, we have to come to a drinking event. This is the premier dopeness. <laughs> the premier dopeness. Dopeness. Excellent. Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> we write that down. Right, right, right. Write that hashtag, hashtag down. Premier <laughs> dopeness. Oh, okay. Works, works, it works. Mm -hmm. So okay. what's what's the next step? What's the vision? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see drinking? Well, events? um, eventually I definitely want us to get into doing like bigger venues where we have like, you know, just a maybe like a big festival, whether it's at the convention center, whether it's outside. But, um, you know, more people knowing who Drinky Events is, who Pipe Town Traders are, you know, um, I think that's really like the next steps, you know, just for people to know who we are and come have fun with us. We're awesome people and, you know, we love to, awesome we are, we're awesome people. We love talking to people, meeting mm -hmm. people, engaging and getting them to learn about beverages, you know, so. That's what I like. Now, I do want to say that this is this is still a uh, friends around the tap, and one of the things I didn't introduce at the top was the fact that we are drinking mead. Mead. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happens? You have to go back is, and look at earlier videos to understand right, the to mead. Understand mead <laughs> joke. So what we try to do is whenever any of us travel, we try to bring back something different from our travels. In this particular case, I brought back a mead from uh, <laughs> the Brothers Drake. Uh, this one is a- No relation to Drake. Right, right, Brothers Robert. Drake, not, okay. not relation. 13% honey wine. Uh, this one has been aged one month in oak staves. I looked up oak staves. If you're gonna ask me, I looked it up. Oak staves are the actual pieces of oak that put together the barrel. Oh. So what they can do is you can put it in stainless steel and drop down the staves, which then allows for it to age quicker because there's more fluid in contact with the staves. But, you know, that's friends around the tap. Want to give you a little bit of information. Uh, that was we good. have to bring that education. <laughs> Got to bring that education. <laughs> Got to give it to you. Uh, you have any more questions? No, I got any more questions. I think that was fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you for giving us more insight. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, gotta give you some insight. <laughs> right. And we hope you insight. guys will, you know, join us at a drinking event. And Coming soon. Thanks again for joining us.